Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some snapping basics in AutoCAD and Civil 3D for MicroStation users. So this is geared for, for the user that's coming over from MicroStation or similar CAD platform and may be new to AutoCAD Civil 3D snaps. So to start with, I'm going to look down at my toolbar and just notice that this particular button, which is called O-Snap, Object Snaps, is turned off. We're going to get to that in a second. But without using any button at the bottom, I'm going to just go to a line or a polyline command here on the home tab. I'm in Civil 3D and I'm just going to start a line out in space. So it asks for the next point. Notice I'm getting no preview or tentative of a snap. And if I want to snap to the end of this or end, uh, edge point of this rectangle, I'm just going to sh hold my shift button and right click. And I'm going to select the particular snap of interest endpoint in this case. Notice the preview box as I get close. It will become stickier as I get close and snap me to that point. Notice I'll get any other endpoint. So this particular snap has taken over this command momentarily. Notice there's no endpoint on the circle. But it, once I left click to select and then escape from the keyboard, I'm finished. So that's a one time snap endpoint. It's, it's a submenu sub snap, so the endpoint snap overrode the command for that one time. Same thing if I start the polyline command again, I could right shift, hold the shift button, right click, and we could do center. As I touch this circle, notice it's going to snap to the center of the circle, left click, escape to finish, done. So that's really the, to equate that to microstation, that's really the old tentative kind of the one at a time where you would do your middle button or your cord on the two button. It's kind of your traditional one time find the snap you need. So what we're going to move to next is kind of the equivalent of AccuSnap for AutoCAD and that's called O-Snap or your running object snaps. So I'm going to activate, you see this button turns blue and that means that I have running object snaps active. But which snaps are turned on? Well, just like in MicroStation, you go to AccuSnap settings. Same thing here. I have a quick menu to pick these running object snaps, or I can go to a dialog, which is very, very similar to MicroStation. And these are the, the object running object snaps that I want to be available as I move my cursor around geometry. And of course, I can override with the shift right click at any time if I need a specific, maybe I have too many turned on and things are getting in the way. So I have object snap turned on, and I've got center, midpoint, endpoint, and geometric center are my active or running snaps. You can see those here with a check and intersection. So now if I start the polyline command, so I start anywhere, and as I move to the circle, it's going to find the center. I move near the line, it's going to find the endpoint and the midpoint. I'm just hovering. I'm finding midpoint, endpoints here. And also, I'm finding geometric center of this particular geometry, this rectangle. So I could snap there and then escape. If I want to start the P-line command here, just a shortcut if you're not familiar with AutoCAD, hit the space bar, starts the last command, over. Notice I could snap to the center of that circle. And these work for, again, any command, whether AutoCAD or Civil 3D, that's a nice thing. The snaps work for any kind of Civil 3D functionality or function that you're running at the time. So before we finish here, let's just talk about elevation a little bit. In uh, uh, MicroStation, you have the ability to lock it to your plane. It used to be called the depth lock, but it's an ACS plane lock. You can stick to a particular elevation. You can set your, your drafting elevation in the file also. Very similar in AutoCAD. So if I type in ELEV, it says my default elevation is currently zero. So that means as I draw, and if I'm not snapping to 3D entities, and I'll check these by, there's a command called ID. It's just a quick little command. As I click, it'll show me information. You can see XYZ. So you can see these were all drawn at zero. So let's take these away for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the line command. Polyline will only be 2D. See there how it says it's a 2D polyline. If I want to run a 3D polyline, I have to go to the 3D polyline command. So the first way, if you only want to draw in 2D, you want to snap to elements that are 3D, is just use that. 
So if I change my elevation to 100, enter. There we go. So if I go to the line command, or polyline doesn't matter, because I'm just going to draw it flat. If I do an ID, you can see that I'm at 100, and it's going to be the same on the other end, of course. So now if I set my elevation back to zero, leave my default thickness alone. Now I'm going to be drawing at zero. But if I'm drawing a 2D polyline, and I snap here, it's not going to take on that elevation. So if I start the polyline, and I'll just do a simple snap, escape to stop, let's check it. ID, so it's zero, which was my active elevation. My endpoint is also zero. So even though I snap to a 2D, of course, a polyline can only be drawn flat on 2D, so it maintained the elevation or the active elevation that was set in the drawing. So that's nice. So I don't have to worry about it. So that's the first way to draw 2D only is just when you're doing line works, do polylines. But what about regular lines? So I want to just go to the regular line command because it will go 3D. And I want to say 100, 100, 0. The first point. Second point is 200, 200, 100. So this endpoint here should be at 100 feet, and it is. Okay, so if I draw another line, create line. So I'm starting here. That's going to be at zero. So if I snap here, this is going to be at 100 feet, you know, which may or may not be okay. But let's say that I only want to grab the XY of that, even though I'm in a 3D uh, uh, command that will actually create 3D geometry. So what I can do is I can hold my shift button and right click. And this is the same place where all my snaps were. But there's something called point filters. So I can go and say only give me the X, Y, Z, X, Y, or any combination of where I snap. So I could say give me the X, Y only of here because it says X, Y of what here. And now it says need Z to finish. Now if I just click in the file, it's going to take whatever the active elevation where I started. And that would be good, right? Because it would just... It would be zero because that's what my active elevation was, if that's what I wanted. If I wanted another Z, I could type it in here and say 300. And then I'll escape to stop. Let's check it. ID 300. This course line was at 100. So the point filters are really nice in that regard. Let's try it a different way. If I go back to the line command, I'll start here. I want to do a right click point filter. I just want the Z. So now I want the Z here, which is 100. And now it says I need the XY. So I could go place this somewhere else and stop. And all I did was acquire that Z. If I do an ID here, that's going to be 100. So if there was an object in the file that I wanted to acquire the Z from, maybe I didn't know it was some oddball elevation, I could use the same shift right click point filter to acquire the Z, but then relocate the XY position of that endpoint, for example. And one quick last shortcut before we go with regards to object snaps. If we start the polyline command, for example, Sometimes you get in a situation where you have a lot of geometry and you've got a lot of snapping trying to take place. And sometimes you just don't want to snap and I want to basically disable object snaps. Well, I can go turn it off. You can see if I hover, I, I could just click it off and it goes away. Or another shortcut to keep from having to come find this button every time, you can see the function key for O snap is F3. So that turns it on and off. But there is a trick within it also where I don't want to disable it totally because I'm going to need it maybe in the next command. But if I hold down F3, notice you get a little icon right at the cursor. That means disable it just for this one operation. See, it's not snapping. And maybe I want to just snap there. Okay, now as soon as I release F3, we're back to snapping. And I can go snap to here or wherever. But if I want to override one more time, I hold F3. You can see the little icon on the cursor means ignore it for this one operation. I can select anywhere that I would like. So I hope these tips help. Have a great day.